back everybody June is cancer survivors month and we are talking about the importance of mental health and that includes those going through treatment and even adjusting after it's over our Lauren Richardson has the story Jay Booth went through a routine gallbladder removal only to find out there was much more all the scans looked fine uh, however they put a stent in my bile duct to kind of keep it open they saw some inflammation there they thought that should heal after about a month when they saw that it didn't heal that's when they started doing more investigations and within a few days they discovered that I had uh, cancer and at the head of my pancreas distressed and anxious after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer Booth had a hard time a lot of thoughts that, that kind of spiral out of control because you don't have the data you don't have the information to kind of help you manage and that's why um, one of the first things I did after getting diagnosed was meet with Dr. Cooney to learn how to help cope with that and how to help manage those 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 thoughts. Dr. Judith Cooney is an associate professor of psychiatry at UConn and a health psychologist at Neog Cancer Center. She helps cancer patients work on their health, mental and physical, through all stages of the process. They tend to worry worst case scenarios, whatever. And so I help people with reducing physical tension and physical distress through relaxation type training and mindfulness trainings. I help them to live in the moment, momentary life through mindfulness and other means. I help them changing their thoughts. It's very normal to fear the worst case with cancer. Cooney meets with patients after a diagnosis. Our first evaluation is typically face-to-face -face, uh, for about 90 minutes in which we, you know, discuss what treatment will look like and we, you know, we agree to that and develop goals and plans. Um, but then people are offered an opportunity to either continue face-to-face -face or go by video appointments. Uh, which are really very helpful because they clearly reduce burden to people. She uses short-term treatments based on cognitive behavior therapies and acceptance and commitment therapy to help cope with the stress. Sessions vary based on the patient. Treatments could go as few as two to four times and or it could go for six months or more. Um, as you know, people go through this process, which could be short or long. Um, and I am there through that process with them, going through all their treatments and into post-acute treatment period too, to help them survive, return back to life as they know it, or return back to the life that they now wish to have. Cooney not only talks about mental health, but focuses on lifestyle changes. To do the positive things that we enjoy and the things that bring us value and meaning into life. And that's really very, very important. Um, and then to be healthy, to exercise, eat well, stem excessive drinking, and absolutely stop smoking. And I've got specific programs embedded in the cancer program just for all of that. Cooney stays with the patient through treatment and even afterwards to help navigate life's challenges. And then lastly, after acute treatment, just when we think it's all over, it's not all over because that ushers in but another phase where sometimes and frequently people have worries and fear of recurrence. And sometimes those fear of recurrence can really impact their day-to-day -day function. So again, using cognitive behavior therapy, trying to stay rooted in what is rather than what could be and challenge unhealthy thoughts. Learning to live in the moment, it's been a life lesson for Booth. One of the things I did at the end of February um, after, after a few sessions with Dr. Cooney was we had tickets to this Broadway play called American Utopia. It was a wonderful uh, concert. And again, I, I think I told you earlier, I was, I'd be classified as a little bit uptight. I, I, through a lot of the techniques uh, that Dr. Cooney had taught me, I was able to be uh, more embraceful of the moment, uh, to take the joy in the moment, to dance in the aisle and to dance with the songs uh, that I knew. And the support he received, he says, has truly meant the world. I, I have come uh, uh, a full 180 from, from being, you know, very worried and very scared and and just, you know, just you, you, you feel like life is just, you know, crashed around you and, and, and you're all alone. 
uh, to feeling um, uh, that all my friends are out there, my family is out there, the doctors are here, everybody's supportive, everybody's helping me through this journey. And that means a great deal. And I think that really helps drive, um, you know, at least for me, helps drive that, 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 that positive attitude and the success and, and really the passion to kind of, to kind of come through this um, uh, at, at the end of the day. All right, for more information on the services Dr. Cooney provides to cancer patients and survivors, you can go to health.yukon.edu. Yeah, such an important part of the treatment. So, so important. So great that they have that.